Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Footer Formatting. Here's the scenario. You have a document in which you would like to separate the body of the document from the footer. You would also like to add field codes to your document. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Let's start by adding a line to separate the text in the body of the document from the footer. There are two options. For both options, you need to be in the footer. Either double click in the footer if you have one already, or go to the Insert tab, click on it, and in the Header and Footer group, click the down arrow on Footer. At the bottom of the dropdown, click Edit Footer. You should be in the footer. Option one will insert a single line in the top of your footer. Go to the Home tab and in the Paragraph group, click the down arrow on the Borders icon. Click on Top Border. Your border will be added to the footer here. For option two, go back to the borders icon and click the last item in the dropdown, borders and shading. The borders and shading dialog box is displayed. In this dialog box, you have many choices for the style, color, and width of the line. In the style area, the default line settings are straight automatic line with a half point width. In this case, the automatic line color is black. To change the settings, click in each field here and make your choice. After you make your choices for style, color, and width, click in this box. You can click any of the sides of the box, but we just want to click on the top of the box here and your line will appear. You can be as creative as you need to be. Here I will change the style, color, and width of the line. I'm going to choose a double line. I'm going to choose a green color. And I'm going to choose a one and a half point. Now I'll just click in the top of the box and all of my choices will appear here. There's also a field called setting. If you click box, it will put lines around the entire box. You can also put a shadow on it, a 3D effect, or a custom style. But for now, I want to clear that all and put in my line on the top. I'm going to click OK. Now, as you can see, the separation line is displayed in the footer. Now with your separation line in place, let's add a field code. To add a field code for a file name and path, in your document, place your cursor where you want your text to reside. I want my field code in the left margin, so I will leave my cursor here. To insert some auto text, such as file name and path, go to the Insert tab, and in the text group, click the down arrow on Quick Parts. Click on Auto Text. You can scroll down to your choice or you can use the down arrow. I want the file name and path, so I'm going to click here. And the field is added to your footer. If you prefer, you can do the same thing in your headers that you do in your footers. Let's move to the header. Click the down arrow on Header and select Edit Header. For the line in your header to separate it from the body of your document, go to the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, click the arrow in the Borders icon, and select Bottom Border, and your line is displayed in the header. And that is the end of this lesson, Footer Formatting. 